first example 14 square here the base number is 10 so 14 means 10 plus 4 means 14 what is the excess value other than base that is 4 so what we have to do is write down the given question 14 so our excess value is 4 so add both of them 14 plus 4 is 18 so that is our first part answer now excess value square we have to take so, 4 square means how much it is? 16. So, what we have to do here? Base 10 means only one digit is allowed. Write down 6 and 1 carry below. So, our answer 1, 8 plus 1 means 9 and this value is 6. So, 14 square value is 196. Let us see next example. 17 square. For base 10, how much excess value we are having? 7. So, given question 17, you add the excess value 7. 17 plus 7, we get answer 24. That is our first part answer 24. Now, what is the second step? Square of the excess value. So, 7 square means how much? That is 49. Since it is a base 10 value, only one digit is allowed. Write down 9 and 4 carry. Now, add them 2, 4 plus 4, 8. Write on the last value 9. So 70 square answer is 289. See the next example 21 square. So previous examples all are base 10 value. How to do we learned. But now here base 20. Slight difference is there. Let us see how to find it now. So 21 square. For 21 means 20 excess value what we are having 1. So, given question 21, add the excess value 1. That means we got the answer 22. Write down first part answer as 22. Now, second part, what we have to do is excess value square. 1 square means 1. Write down. So, up to here, same only. 20 means, here base 20, no? So, how to write this 22 times 10? That is 20. So, that's why. Here base 20 not base 10. So multiply with this 2. So 2 into first part we have to multiply. So 2 into 22 we get 44 and write down the second part answer as 1. So 21 square means 441. So once again I am explaining this. So 21 square means base 20. So how we get 22 times 10. That's why here we multiplied first part with 2. And remaining same procedure as here. So 21, 20 excess value what we are having 1. So for given question 21, add 1. That means we got 22. That is the first part answer. Next 1 is their excess value. Its square means 1 only. We have written that. So 20 base means 2 times 10. So multiply with the 2. First part answer. So 2 into 22 we got 44 and the excess value 1. So 21 square answer is 441. Same model. Let us see few more examples now. 64 square. So here what is the base value here? 60. 60 means how you will get 60? 6 times 10. So first part answer we must multiply with 6. So for 64 what is the excess value above 60 what we are having 4. So for given question 64 the excess value is 4. So add both of them we got 68. So write down here 68. Now what is the second part answer? Square of the excess value. 4 square means how much? We get 16. Write down here that 16 value. Now what we have to do? 6 times 68 we have to multiply. So 6 8s are 48. 8 we get a carry 4. 6 6 are 36 plus 4. That means 40. 
Now, 64 that means base 10 above. So, here only one digit is allowed. Write the 1 as carry here. And write down the second part answer 6. Now, our answer will be 4, 0, 8 plus 1, 9. And the last digit 64096. What we have done in this example, let us see again. 64 means 6 times 10. So, first part answer we have to multiply with 6. Now, 60 above or base value 60, x is how much we are having? 4. So, for given question 64, we have added 4. That means 68, we have written first part answer. Second part, what we have to do is x is value square. 4 square means 16. Now, multiply the first part with 6. That means 408, we got it. Since it is base 10 related, only one digit is allowed. This one we have written as carry. Now after adding, we got the result 4096. 64 whole square answer is now 4096. Let us see the next example, 72 whole square. So 72 means 7 times 10. So first part answer, what we have to do? Multiply with 7. So, 70 above x is how much value is he given here? That is 2. So, given question 72 or x is value is 2. Add both of them. We got the first part answer as 74. Now, what is the second part? Square of the x is value. 2 square answer is 4. Write down 4 here. Now, what we must do? Multiply 74 by 7. So, 7 4s are 28. 8 carry 2. 7 7s are 49 plus 2, 51. And write down the second part answer, 4. Now 72 whole square answer is 5184. See the example 206 whole square, 200 base. Here base is 200, so how we have to write this means 2 times 100. How we get 200 base? 2 times 100. That's why first part answer you multiply with 2. Now come to the question. 206, 200 above, how much value is there here? 6. So for our given question 206, write the excess value 6. That means 206 plus 6 is 212. So that is the first part answer. Now 6 is given. This excess value 6 square we have to write. 6 square means how much? 36. Write on that value 36. Now what we have to do is multiply the first part by 2. 2 2s are 4. 2 1s are 2. 2 2s are 4. And write on the second part answer 36. So this is the answer. 511 whole square. So, here base value is 500. How you will get 500? That means 5 times 100. That's why you multiply with 5 for the first part answer. So, 511. That means 500. How much excess value we are having? 11 that is. So, for given some 511, add the excess value 11. Now, the answer is 522. So, this is our first part answer. Now, what is our second part answer? That is, square of the excess value. 11 square means how much? 121. Since here base 100 value, we have to write only 2 digits. And excess value that before 1, we must write as a carry. Now, what we have to do? Multiply by 5, 522. So, let us check. 5, 5s are 25. 5 2s are 10, 0, carry 1. 5 2s are 10, 0, carry 1. Second part answer, 121. Now add the carries to 5 plus 1, 6. 0 plus 1, 1. 0 plus 1, 1. Second part answer, 21. So 511 whole square means this is the answer. See now, 3012 whole square. Here base value is 3000. So, 3000 means how you will get 3 times 1000. So, what we must do? First part answer, we must multiply with 3. Now, 3012 here example is 
So three thousand above, how much value we are having? Twelve. For given question three thousand twelve, add the excess value twelve. That means three thousand twenty four. We get the answer. That is first part answer. Now what we have to do for second part? Square of the excess value. Twelve square value means how much? That is one hundred forty four. So since the base is related to thousand. Three digit values are allowed. So write down the second part answer as one hundred forty four. Now multiply with three the first part answer. So three three is a nine. Three zero is a zero. Three two is a six. Three four is a twelve. Two carry one. Write down the second part answer one hundred forty four. Now add the carry nine zero six plus one seven two one double four. So three thousand twelve whole square answer is nine zero seven two one double four. Now let us see the next example six thousand thirteen whole square. Six thousand base here. So how we get six thousand six times thousand? So first part answer we must multiply by six. Now six thousand above how much value we are having here thirteen. So given question six thousand thirteen add the excess value thirteen so we get the answer six thousand twenty six so that is the first part answer. Now second part how we get square of the excess value so thirteen square answer is one hundred sixty nine since base is related to thousand so we can three digits are allowed write down one sixty nine as it is. Now multiply the first part by six. Six six are thirty six. Six zero are zero. Six two are twelve two. Carry one. Six six are thirty six. So six carry three. Write on the last part answer one sixty nine. Now add the carries. Three six zero plus one one two plus three five. Six one six nine. So six thousand thirteen whole square answer is three six one five six one six nine. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.